The main focus that I wanted to share with you today, and I'm assuming the reason that you've selected this workshop is because you're on some sort of venture to try and set up VR at your own individual sites. Um, so the, I guess the crux of the presentation will be around the processes that we used and the lessons that we learned along the way so that you can hopefully not make the same mistakes we did or take our learning on board um, and streamline the process for yourselves. Okay, the beginning. We had no idea about VR, none. Um, my husband has a VR kit for PlayStation that I got him for Christmas. Um, that was it, that's all I knew. Uh, so I had to start somewhere. Um, we had no idea where to start. All we were given was, oh cool, here's VR. Go for it. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Um, or any limitations. So it sounds great, yeah, but we were terrified. We're like, okay, well, what do we do? I don't know how to use this equipment. We don't know what programs to use. We don't even know what's available. Cool, we've got a brand new laptop that's out of the box. No idea. We had no idea how to set it up. We had no idea how much space it required. We're a pretty big, busy school. We're like, where do we even use this? Um, where do we get 17 power cords? Um, that is a limitation of the equipment, by the way. You need a lot of power points. Um, but yeah, it was a crazy place to start. Thank God for YouTube. All right, so we um, unpacked all of our gear. We had fresh VR kits in the box and had to work through the whole setup process. And there's, there's a million cords that go with these things, but you do get better at the setup. We're getting a lot better now. Um, and so we started there and we're like, okay, let's make it work. So we tried on, we were like, okay, what can it do? So we played a few free games. There, are, there is quite a few free games that you can get using the HTC Vive and um, it all runs through Steam. Um, if you know anything about Steam server. Um, and so there's heaps of free stuff that you can just go and have a bit of a look at, try it out. Uh, Steam works with um, a number of different platforms, not just the Vive. Um, so we just had a play and got familiar with how to use the, the software, how to use the, the hardware. Living in a fairly risk adverse culture and education and we're trying to break and shift that paradigm. So if you've got the green light to try and do some VR work, the kids, even if it's the most epic disaster, they are going to get something out of it that they didn't have access to before. We'll show you how the equipment works. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about are the controllers. So they're just handheld controllers. Um, and at the back of them, there's a trigger. It's pretty much in this, there will be like a pallet in your left hand, depending if you're left-handed or right-handed, you can just switch the controllers around. But um, whatever hand, you were dominant with, that's your yeah, paintbrush, obviously. So this is my paintbrush hand. I can see a controller that's skinny, and on this hand I can see a controller that's got crazy big pallets and stuff all sort of floating around. Okay. So we talk about uh, swiping on the controllers, which is that massive circle, and it's not hard to miss. You should find it pretty easily. Um, when you swipe it to, uh, to the left to the right on your left hand, or your palette hand, that will change what you're looking at. So there's things like uh, tools and razors and straight edges and things like that. And then there's, um, there's an eraser, colors. Yeah, I, I can see a little color palette and I can point at it. Yeah, so when you're selecting something from your palette, you have to... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you have to pretty much just have the palette hand out and your right hand, you just use the trigger and you select whatever you want to use. And then you put that down and off you go. You got paint. Yeah. So how you paint is you hold down the trigger with the paint hand and then move your arm around. She's drawing a stick figure. <laughs> Physics teachers. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so I'll just turn this computer screen around because what you can see on the computer screens is what Cam <coughs> sees. So Ideally, one, one of the things that we've, we've come across that's a bit of an issue with this um, kit is it says that it has a, a screen, like a display out of the, uh, the Vive kit and we just cannot get it to work. We've tried different cables, different configurations, different ins and outs. What it can do though, if you've got a TV screen um, nearby, you can send to the TV screen like wirelessly. It does it no problem. So if that's a yeah easy solution there. Um, I'll take half of you outside and um, let's go play.